minus the pause. Mic iPhone microphone. Top of screen. 12.42 p.m. Speed job. Well, I'm going to make some toast. Go I chit chat. Um, I gave someone from Guide Dogs a call. And I um, spoke to this person. Um, so yeah, she's going to give me a call at the end of April and work out a time to come out to me. Um, I will have seen a psychologist well and truly by then, so I'll just talk to this lady and uh, see how I go. Hmm, this toast is a bit crunchy, it's a bit burnt. I don't know if I want ham on it or uh, coleslaw or I don't know. I don't know. Just consider. I don't know. Can't, cannot be sure what I want on toast today. Um, <coughs> I've got a very bad cough, that is for sure. Um, I know it'll go away. The stress and anxiety thing that I need to deal with, it's not going to go away, it's not curable. People say you could manage it, I think not really, you can't manage, you can manage it, but it's very subjective, you know, just because I can manage something doesn't mean it's going to be comfortable or okay to deal with or whatever. I might manage my anxiety, but can I actually deal with what I'm managing? No, I can't. I don't think. I don't think I can. That's my opinion. Um, I'm not going to change my opinion. I don't want to change my opinion. I just want to just take what comes. Sorry guys, but that's what happens when I cough. It just happens. That's enough coleslaw on that. Just gonna spread it down a bit. understand some of my friends they come over they eat from Uber Eats but they will not eat anything that's in my fridge you know if it happens to be bread with coleslaw and ham and all of that they can't eat what is in my fridge they see, they see all this food in my fridge and say no I'm going to buy food from the shop and have it delivered to the door because I'd rather do that than eat food from the bloody stupid fridge that's right, you know, three metres. <coughs> three metres away. <coughs> you know, and it's like, what's wrong with you guys? Why would you go and get food delivered to my unit when I have got food in the fucking fridge? That is no different 
from just make it, you know, learn to make it yourself. Yeah. Can't understand any of this. You know, I've got ham here that you just get it and put it onto your sandwich. And um, you just put it on there and you make a sandwich for yourself. Like, it's not hard. It is not difficult. It, I can't understand other people, how they just say, Oh, I've got to get food delivered to, from Uber Eats. Because it's just too difficult for me to make a ham and coleslaw sandwich from the fucking fridge. Like, oh my god. <coughs> it is not that hard, guys. It just is not difficult. is isn't hard at all. You just do it. I've made a ham and coleslaw sandwich now. It wasn't that difficult for me to make. It wasn't hard at all for me to make it. I just fucking made the bloody sandwich. That's all I did. Just friggin' made it. It didn't take me long to make it at all. At all. It did not take long at all to make it. Yum. Mm. Mm. I think it's yum. I might make some more toast. Mmm. Mmm. I got all this food in the fridge, and people say, "No, I don't want to make a sandwich. I don't want to have any any salad and meat on the plate." I want to ring up Uber Eats and get exactly the same thing. Click on Uber Eats, make your order, and you can have the same thing at home. Oh, I think it's weird. And all these people that have takeaway every day and wonder why they got problems. <clears throat> I find it quite um quite um bizarre. Oh, I eat takeaway every day and I'm fine, but I suffer from problems sometimes, so I just don't want to stop eating takeaway. Um, because, oh, I would just live with my problems. Like, what? If that was me, I'd rather stop eating takeaway. That's how I see it. <coughs> um, yeah. I 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about tomorrow um, with making, I mean, with having a discussion about my complaint that I made on Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I personally think it's disgusting that I'm joining the Vision Australia outings again sometimes and some clients are spreading rumours about me. Absolutely disgusting. I was thinking of talking to Link Vision Management, in fact, about what's going on. I'll consider it, and I'll know by Friday what I should do, or tomorrow afternoon if possible. The sooner the better. I think it's quite horrendous that some people are trying to spread rumours to stop me from going on outings. I think it's absolutely disgusting. (coughs) 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 Um... I think that people need to grow up, put their chin up, let bygones be bygones, stick their carrying on gossipy shit up the backside where it belongs, pull their finger out and move on with life a little bit more. So, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I I have no idea. Wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have the bloody faintest idea.
The other thing that I find very, very shocking is, and I don't mean to sound annoying when I cough too much, I can't help it, it just is happening today. I'm eating properly, so don't be too shocked because I'm okay. The other thing that gets me is people complain. Like they're hard done by and everything, but then they don't actually do anything to fix their hard done by situation. And I just about feel like saying, look, stop acting so hard done by if you can't stand up for yourself and say something. That's what I feel like saying. You know. People complain and they act all hard done by, but they then they admit, oh, I won't mention any names. The person admits that they feel that they are entitled to more help, but then they don't stand up and ask for the help and they know they should, but they're not like that. It's like, well, if they're not like that, then don't complain at me because I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to do anything about it either. If someone's going to complain at me because they choose not to complain at the right people to manage their issues, then that ain't my problem. That's their problem to deal with because they choose to dump all their problems onto me and then they say, oh, but I'm just not like that. I just can't, you know, step up and ask because I don't want to um, feel that I'm you know, complaining too much, and I'm like thinking, yeah, that's just an excuse to jump, to jump problems onto me, and then excuse that, <coughs> <coughs> and then excuse that behaviour by saying, oh, <coughs> um, I just can't ask for help because I don't want to feel like I'm complaining too much. Well, why is the person complaining at me then? If they can't ask for help because they just don't feel like wasting time, why is the person wasting my time with that complaint? Why do they have to waste my time? You know, like when someone says to me, oh, this and that's going on and I say, why don't you step up and ask for help then? Like, let someone know. Oh, I'm just not like that. I, 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 I'm not um, assertive enough to do that. I know I should, but I just can't. I'm too angry to say anything nicely. Well, my response to that is, well, stop dumping your problems onto me because I can't fix your problems. And if you're telling me you want to fix your problems why don't you listen to my advice and I'll tell you how to fix your problems otherwise shut up and stop dumping your complaints on to me if you're saying you want to fix them but really you just want someone to dump your complaints on to then really you don't want to fix your complaints at all you're just saying that to excuse dumping your complaints on to You know, so I can't work any of that out. Like, if, if someone has a complaint to make and it happens to be about another client or a, a, a support staff, and then they say, oh, I want it fixed but no one's helping me because I don't ask. That's just another way of saying I want to dump all my problems onto you because I'm too... I'm just too selfish to accept... Well, not accept, but... Well, I'm just too selfish to accept that my friends 
can't help me fix my problems, so I'll just dump all my, you know, my shit onto my friends and make up excuses so that my friends will listen to me. When all these people need to do is say, hey, um, I've got these complaints to make and no one's really helping me fix this complaint. No one's really helping me. So I thought I'd let you know what's going on. And then if you really know that you want help, you will listen to my advice. But as soon as someone tells me something and then says, oh, And then says, oh, I, I just can't do that. I feel like saying, well, why can you dump all of your problems onto me, but you just can't ask for help? I can't work any of that out. I just wouldn't have a clue how to work it out. Like, how can someone have a complaint about someone and then rather than ask for help, they'd rather say, I want help, I want to ask for help, but I just can't do that. They're covering up for wanting to dump all of their shit onto me when really they won't admit to wanting to dump all of their shit onto me. You know, like, the person can't come out with it and say, oh, I know I should ask for help, but I just don't want to, so I'll dump all my problems onto you. What I'd rather do is just say, blah, 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 yeah, I do want help to fix all of this shit that I don't like, but actually, no, I'm telling you, but I just can't ask for help because it's too hard. I'll just tell you. Well, that's the same as just dumping problems onto me. And I think it's disgusting that the only reason one of the clients rang me up is because I... I'm participating as a client of Vision Australia again, otherwise they wouldn't have rang me up. I can't believe any of that either. I really can't wait to say something about this tomorrow. And if you want my frank opinion, I hope that this person doesn't move in here because she might stir up trouble for people. You know, and I don't want to get involved in anyone's dramas because they choose to stir up issues, you know, up strife. Oh, here we go, I've got a lot of problems, but I won't tell you that I'm dumping all my garbage onto you, I'll just try and make excuses without actually telling you. I really cannot believe it. I have a very hard time understanding how clients 
10 oh, V8 clients can treat each other like that. Oh well, I suppose there's not much that I can do as much as I'm going to be doing something. And all these people that need to click on Uber Eats and make an order. Get it delivered to my unit. When there is bloody food in my fridge. Food. In my fridge. I just do not know how anyone can decide to spread rumours about me just like that. How anyone can think to do that. Just spread rumours about me. Just like that. Just spread rumours. I really think it's quite unfathomable that people are more concerned about trying to stop me from going on outings than they are about trying to have a good time. I'll see what comes of this tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. 
but something a bit of bloody chummies because I'm not happy. Chocolate, yeah. Mmm, yummy. My favourite chocolates are roses and Cadbury. I don't like any of the other ones. But I do like roses and roses and Cadbury. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to speak. Press page two of three. Adjustable. Pause. Stop. Button. Finish this recording in a minute. Now I'm gonna read for a while because um I need to relax and um yeah I just need to enjoy life. I might need to talk to the Link Vision manager about what goes on and let him know that I left Vision Australia because I didn't like some issues that were going on. And I'm now rejoining Vision Australia. I've now rejoined because, you know, because the WordPress management now. has convinced me of their... service provision so now I'm facing all this shit again Anyway, Stop. I'm Adam. off so I can read. Pause. Stop. I'll talk to you guys later.